Hello, I'm Jeremiah Reed, and this is 65 Million Years Ago, another entry into the Seven Day Roguelike Challenge of 2018. This is a dinosaur game set in the Cretaceous period, traveling from 2442 back millions of years, and you're collecting little dinosaur fossils that are colored in gold. Uh, I already played this once for about eh, 30 minutes, beat it, and I'm going to show it to you because... Uh, well, the first time around, I thought I was recording the screen, and I wasn't recording anything. So usually I like to do these ones from scratch with, like, uh, jump right in. So you see how, like, I, I learned the game without uh, knowing anything ahead of time. But uh, got a little bit of experience in this one. So you play as Dr. Emmett DeLorean. The year is 2442. Time travel is possible. You have volunteered to travel back in time to collect as much dinosaur material as you can without becoming a fossil yourself. Ha 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 ha. The rules are simple. While your solar-powered time machine recharges, collect whatever prehistoric artifacts you can find, anything gold-colored. Once charged, walk into it to get back home. Use your stun gun, also solar-powered, which is kind of hilarious how everything is environmentally friendly, in case of emergencies, but be careful. It needs to recharge before you can use it again. Fame and fortune await if you can make it back alive. And there's different things you can collect for different points. So here we go. New game. Um, yep. Nope. Okay. So here's the game. It's got some really beautiful sprites. They're all like one or two colors, but um, I'm really digging them. Really love the like one bit dinosaur. No, that's wrong. They're they're like two color uh, dinosaur sprites, but they look pretty awesome. Really simplistic, but um, the constraints of having like the small tiles, s small tile size, two colors. You know, you, it really enhances the creativity here. So on the right, we've got our UI. You've got your time machine status, so it slowly char charges from zero up to 100%. And the interesting thing you'll see about this game is both your time machine and your stun gun, because they're solar powered and there's a day-night cycle, they only are charging half of the time. The other half is at nighttime, uh, you can't see very far, and that's dangerous because you can kind of get ambushed by dinosaurs, of course. So controls are really simple. It's kind of a WASDA, a WASDA QZAC or whatever, um, or numpad. Numpad's a good option. And as you can see, we're being chased by a monster, which is a Baryonyx. Yeah. I think previously I was wondering if these were randomly generated names or fictional names, but I'm wondering if they're, they're probably all real and I've just not heard of a lot of them. So now I'm being um, chased by two monsters two dinosaurs. They're both slightly slower than me, but probably fast enough that they're going to get a hit on me. So I can use my stun gun. That is really helpful. I can only use it once, though, until it recharges. That guy is stunned. It'd be nice to see some sort of indicator that the monster's stunned, um, because I have tried to use my stun gun before on a monster when I didn't realize the stun gun was not charged. And uh, nothing happened. Well, something did happen. I, I got mauled to death, but uh, the, the dinosaur was not stunned while I thought it was. So you see the time of the day is progressing. The sun is setting. And luckily, there's not a lot of monsters. I keep saying monsters. And there's not a lot of dinosaurs around here. I mean, dinosaurs are monsters, right? Terrible lizards. And at this point, when it becomes dark, I kind of use my cheese strategy to wander around in the dark without wandering into any hostile dinosaurs. Now, the, here's probably my favorite part of the game. You collect these different fossils and then bring them back to the year 2442. One of the fossils that you can collect is a mosquito, and of course it's actually moving. Um, so the only way that I think you can collect it is by stunning it, but if you stun it, then you give up your only defensive option. So it's a really interesting trade-off. Um, something else that's interesting that just happened, uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen, there's a T-Rex that's about to go to town chomping down on uh, like a Stegosaurus or something. I actually can see what, what these guys are. 
It's a T-Rex, like I said, and I was totally wrong. It is an Ankylosaurus or something. I'm probably butchering that. And so these dinosaurs, like, aggro each other and fight each other. That, you don't see that a lot in, in most roguelikes. I say most roguelikes. I'm sure it's in some roguelikes. Uh, so here's this Microraptor. He is faster than me, and he is coming at me, which is not good. I want this bone. Something else that's interesting, though, if you look at his stats, he's a little bit weak, and something I didn't realize at first, it does say on the controls, though, you can bump into dinosaurs to attack them. Probably something you wouldn't have guessed uh, I didn't guess, because uh, I figured they're dinosaurs, and typically dinosaurs just rip people's faces off. Uh, you know, I'm sure you've seen Jurassic Park. Oh, I love it. I love the angry dinosaur emoji. I don't know what's so great about it. It's uh, Maybe it's the way it's drawn or something. And I've learned from experience, and you could probably guess, that the T-Rex is not something that you want to mess with. I'm trying to outrun this guy. Okay, good. Yeah, so now I've charged up my stun gun. I can use it again. As you can see, the, this guy's stats, he'd be really hard for me to kill. Oh, and I didn't show my stats, but they're all basically 100. Okay. I think you only stun the dinosaurs for like a few turns. And then for some reason after, I'd say after like a, oh boy, this is not good. I was going to say after about a day or two, it seems like you start to find a lot more fossils. Um, maybe because some of them are continue to be dropped or when dinosaurs die, they drop them. What? Yeah, that makes sense. Duh. Um, I'm an idiot. Of course, dinosaurs drop fossils when they die, so of course. Um, now I'm in a situation where this T-Rex is chasing me, though, and where the day-night cycle comes into play. It's almost nighttime. I'm running out of charge, so I'm not going to be able to stun him. I'm only going to be able to run away. Now I have to choose which is the best way to do that. Probably to the right... Huh. It's kind of got me trapped here. Oh, wait. <sighs> okay. Maybe I'm going to make this out alive. I thought they would kind of aggro each other, but that didn't seem to happen. Can I make it through this river? Maybe what happens is I, I'm totally shooting in the dark, but like I think there's herb, herbivorous dinosaurs and like carnivorous ones, and maybe the two fight, but like the carnivorous ones never fight. That's just a complete wacky guess. Wow, I'm getting destroyed. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more shot, so maybe we can see the whole the whole game. But yeah, I mean, there's it's not a complicated game, but I really like it. It's a it's a well-scoped game for 7 DRL, you could say. Going to stun I'm going to stun this guy. I can't get down through those trees, so I I'm just going to try to run. Oh, there is an indicator if you examine them again. That's cool. <laughs> Love it. I really want I want this mosquito. Oh, I didn't mean to attack the guy. I don't think these these dinosaurs are aggressive normally. So that was a complete mistake. So 
So yeah, at this point, all I really need to do is wait out the night time. Sometimes I'll wander back and forth, sometimes I'll get bored with that and get a little bit more adventurous. And now most of the map seems to be cleared out, so it seems to be a little bit safer. Safer and there's a bunch more cool stuff. Huh, so this guy only has 77 health. Maybe I could take him on, but he has really high attack. Ooh. Dinosaur poop, that's the best. Okay, I'm gonna... Hmm, thought I was stunning. I'm gonna try stunning now. Stun that guy. <laughs> I think I'm just going around in circles at this point. Oh, that is a lot of feathers. I could really use all these feathers. I could really use not dying also. <laughs> Killed by a Spinosaurus. I, I feel so lame having already beaten this game and now I'm like totally sucking at it. And there are like a bazillion micro raptors. I guess they're like always in herds, always like swarming around, so that makes some amount of sense. You know what? I, I want to get one of these these guys. may not be the optimal strategy but it's really it's fun collecting a mosquito it's so iconic as like a dinosaur thing right the mosquito that is trapped in amber that is the classic like jurassic park trope i wish you could like cut through trees but maybe that would make the game kind of lame Oh, you know what? Uh, I feel like this is kind of like a pathing or like a, a map generation bug, maybe. I seem to be trapped in uh, in a location which I can't really escape from. As far as I can tell, on the right it's all trees. On the left, it's all mountains. And on the bottom, I think it was all mountains. But anyway, um, <laughs> okay, it's nighttime, and I'm like two percent away from my time, my time machine charge. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna do it. Time machine is green. Here we go. Collected one tooth, two mosquitoes, for a total of 1,010 points. Excellent. So that has been 65 million years ago. I'm just going to restart it so I can take a look at the starting, the entry point. Um, love the art. Love the, the, frankly, very simple mechanics, but they work really well for 70RL. Um, Collecting gold is fun. It's like more fun when you, I guess you wait a little bit, then you watch the dinosaurs attack each other and kill each other, then you can kind of scavenge everything. Um, couple small issues I noticed is it seems, because there's no hunger clock, you can kind of just sit in a corner, uh, like wait out the nighttime, which is the most dangerous because you can't see very far. Um, so it's kind of a case where you could see how a hunger clock might be useful. Uh, let's see, what else? The, I think that last run I had some sort of map generation issue where I was kind of trapped in a little island um, and I was surrounded by mountains, but kind of worked out in my favor because I didn't have a lot of aggressive dinosaurs fighting me. 
Um, the, uh, the emojis or emoticons or whatever you want to call them. What, and the dinosaurs fighting each other. Perfect. You know, that's cool. Um, and, and, the, and the one thing about this game uh, that I haven't really covered, but I need to as I'm looking at these 70 RLs, are they roguelikes? Uh, you know, obviously this doesn't look anything like a traditional roguelike, but if you really stop and think about it, it's got the grid-based combat, the turn-based combat, um, you're collecting stuff. You've got, you do have some sort of tactics where you're trying to run away in a very precise amount of turns or you're going to get mauled to death and just eaten whole. Uh, by different dinosaurs and um, yeah it's it's for a 70 URL it's nicely scoped and I would totally recommend that you check this game out